Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We're looking at Premier League Team of the Season predictions today in this video. I want to take you guys through a squad that I have made as a prediction in collaboration with a couple other people to uh, kind of think and kind of prospect who we're going to get during Premier League Team of the Season, which should be coming this Friday. So these cards right here, I'm going to show you a squad of 11. We're going to go um, in sets all the way up until we view all the cards, talk through them a little bit, talk about the stats that I gave them. Um, based on what I saw for t team of the season community, some of the stat boosts weren't that insane. I still feel like they're gonna give very, um, very solid stat boosts for the Prem. But just talk about this promotion that we have coming up this weekend, this set of team of the season, and look through some of the cards that we could be getting based on how these guys did in this last year of football for the part of the year that was played. So we're kind of starting at the bottom, the lower tier cards, and we're moving up to the top in terms of rating and in terms of hype, I guess you could say. Uh, starting with Grealish. Jack Grealish had a great year this year. Um, I think this is going to be the guy that's kind of like the Madison last year of FIFA 19 Prem Tots. This is going to be one of those guys that I think you're going to pack a lot. And it's the guy that you're not going to want to see a lot. We both have, we have both goalkeepers in this uh, set of cards as well. I think Schmeichel and Henderson are going to be your goalkeepers. I thought about Nick Pope. He already had the, um, already had the foot birthday SBC. Allison was hurt for most of the year. He did have a lot of clean sheets, but Henderson was um, just absolutely key for the Sheffield United success this year uh, and where they were able to do what they were able to place in the table and, and perform this year in the Prem. I think he did a fantastic job for them. Schmeichel as well um, was fourth place, tied for second technically in clean sheets in the Prem with 10. Lester had an insane year. So I think he deserves some credit with the Tots card as well. Adama Traore this year, already an absolute stud on FIFA. Very hyped up card. And I think he's going to get a team this season for his goal contributions and just for his, um, just for his, you know, what he is like Adama Traore, one of the most strongest players, uh, one of the strongest players in the Prem. He's just a legend this year in the Prem. He's gonna, a legend. He's a, in FIFA as well. He's become an absolute beast. A lot of people like to use in their ultimate teams with his informs, his scream, and his headliner card. And that's the other thing that I want you guys to remember when we're going throughout this prediction is that it's not just based on performance. It's also based on um, what is going to sell packs because that's the number one thing EA is doing with Team of the Season. And uh, totally with this year, it's team of the season so far. So as and as you know, as high a chance as any prior year, EA can put in whatever cards they want into this promo. I think Treyre gets in as a Tots card this year, just because of the hype. Uh, but those are our first four cards right there. Let's move on to the second four. Here we go. We've got Soyuncu, Vardy, Perea, and Henderson. Jordan Henderson. I'll start with Soyuncu first. Uh, great year in the Premier League this year. Doesn't have any other special cards in foot, uh, but I think he is one of the league leaders in passes completed. Um, so that is boding well for him. Again, Leicester's going to get a couple Tots cards because they had a fantastic year. I think I have actually four of them in here. Four uh, total Tots cards with possibly, you know, um, James Madison could be somebody who would get a Tots card as well. He was like honorable mention on my list. Uh, but Sayanchu Vardy and Perea, I think, are going to get in from Leicester because they had a fantastic year. Jamie Vardy actually led the Premier League in goals with 19 goals, so I think he has to get a Tots card. Perea has got multiple informs already in FIFA this year. He's had a great year um, with, I think, a decent amount of assists, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, and he's actually scored some goals as well, just played really well. And then Jordan Henderson. Um, I think I boosted the stats a lot on Jordan Henderson. Uh, I think that they could actually boost his stats a little bit more and make him a really, really beast card because some people were including Henderson this year with the player of the year conversation in the Premier League. He had a fantastic year for Liverpool. And of course, there's going to be a lot of Liverpool guys in this team of season squad, whether you like it or not, because Liverpool absolutely ran the tables this year on the Prem. So uh, that is our first uh, Liverpool player that we're seeing here. But I want to, I want to point out Stoyanchu because um, I don't have any players in this uh, prediction that are from Team of the Season community. I don't think they're going to re-release Joe Gomez, Felipe Anderson, Zaha, or any of those cards. Uh, I think they're just going to release a separate set or a separate team of Premier League Team of the Season cards. I think that's how they're going to do it. 
Uh, and the center back spot in the Prem is very, very, uh, there's not a lot of cards on the market. There's been some SBCs. We have a Laporte objective, but the center back position on the market in the Prem is interesting. So I think Soyuncu could actually start being used a lot in this game, especially if Michael gets a card, because that's a green link between Soyuncu and Schmeichel at your back line right there. Let's go to screen three. Look at the next set of cards, and this is where it starts to get good. And a lot of you guys might disagree on this one, uh, but I have got Marcus Rashford, Mares, Aubameyang, and Robertson in this prediction. Marcus Rashford. Why do I have Rashford in this prediction? 14 goals this year in the Prem. Manchester United. Uh, he played pretty well for them all year long, and there's got to be a guy to link to a certain somebody who I think is also going to be in this prediction. Well, you'll see him in just a second. But I think we got to get some Man United guys in the squad. I thought about putting Harry Maguire in. He was kind of honorable mention as well. He had a solid year. And again, remember, EA needs to sell packs with the squad. So they're going to put in players with the big names that, um, you know, are going to get a lot of people to open packs. I think Rashford is one of those guys. Mares has had a really solid year. He's got plenty of informs and special cards on FIFA this year. Three informs, I think. Either two or three informs. I think he's got three, if I'm remembering correctly. But this Tots card is one that I'm actually kind of excited about because if they give him the proper boost, this card, as you can tell here, would look insane. Mars's card already fits the meta so well in foot, and this is going to be a really, really, really desired card if he does get that kind of stat boost and if he does get a Tots. Robertson as well, this is another interesting point, right? This is the first card that we've seen come up that has a Team of the Year item. I've kept the stats the same from these Team of the Years to the Team of the Seasons just because I'm not sure what EA wants to do. Last year, we had a Van Dyke Tots card that was higher rated than the team of the season. I feel like this year, we won't get team of the season cards that are higher than the team of the year. So that's how I feel this year. I feel like Robertson could be 93, still could be a 94. It's kind of up in the air with whatever EA decides to do, but that's going to be similar to his team of the year card. Aubameyang as well, one of the, the second highest scorer in the Prem this year. He's got a couple informs. Um, and I think that he is going to get himself a team of the season card this year as well, just for his contributions for Arsenal. They got to throw an Arsenal player in there. They try to spread it out. Um, you know, they try to include a lot of the different teams because, because, you know, that sells packs, right? If you're an Arsenal fan, you don't see anybody in team of the season from Arsenal. You might be a bit bummed out, but I think they're going to throw a bombing in there as deserving as he is. Number five, uh, number four, excuse me, screen four, our fourth set of players. What do you have to think about this one? Bruno Fernandez. I think Bruno's going to get in. Actually, if there is any questionable player that I'm the most confident about, Bruno Fernandez, I think, is almost a shoe in uh, After coming to United, he's played phenomenally in the spring of this year after he, after he transferred over. But I think EA could get away with saying, hey, we can give this guy a team of the season card because of his performances when he was at Sporting before he transferred to United as well. So I think EA kind of play it that way if they wanted to and give Bruno Fernandes a team of the season card, which I do think he's going to get. That's going to be a very, very desired card on FIFA and especially by Manchester United fans. I expect that card to be very expensive on this game. I'm talking probably around like the 2 to 2.5 mil range at the start, possibly. Um, and again, we'll talk about this at the end, but these cards are going to be expensive, expensive compared to the community tots that we saw this week. So I think Bruno Fernandez gets in. I think his card looks really tasty and it's going to be a card. A lot of people want to use Trent Alexander Arnold again has a team of the year item. I think he's going to get a tots card, either 94 or 95 rated some more Liverpool players showing up here with Alexander Arnold, Mane and Salah. Again, I think we're going to see five or six Liverpool players because this year in foot, they've been given the Liverpool specials out um like it's nothing special they've been so many specials for liverpool players this year makes sense because they played incredibly um but i think they're going to have the most number of um representations for their team for a team in the premier league tots it's got to be liverpool i think mana gets in as well with either a 97 or 96 overall card as a team of the season related to his team of the year and then salah i think salah gets in too man salah had 16 goals in the year really solid year and that card's going to look cracked as well of course the biggest problem with that card is the three-star weak foot. But when you get a card that good, you can probably get it onto his left foot pretty easily for a nice finesse shot coming in from the right side. So I think a lot of hype around that Salah card is going to be uh, there as well. Salah had a team this season last year. He's already got the, it's either 94, it's a 94 rated headliner, 95 rated headliner. So this uh, team of the season card is going to be high rated and it's going to be a really 
juiced card. Now, for the last set of cards, these are the last four, and then we'll show the whole prediction. But I got Van Dyke as a 98. Again, similar stats to his team of the year card. I feel like this year, the team of the year is not going to be surpassed in rating. I think the Tots card is actually going to be a 98 instead of a 99. Because again, he does have a 99 team of the year card. I think it's going to be 98 for his Tots. That's why I uh, bumped him down there. Going to have similar stats to the team of the year. Uh, but still going to be one of the best center backs in the game. Of course, Liverpool again. De Bruyne, 98 rated. Probably going to be similar to his team of the season. To his team of the year, excuse me. Uh, in terms of stats. Although I do think it could be a 97 or an, instead of a 98. I put Sun in because there's got to be some Tottenham Hotspur representation. Sun had a really solid year. It may not have been the most amazing in terms of statistics. He did have seven assists on the year, which is solid. But he had some shining moments throughout the year. Um, and I think Sun is also one of those players that's just going to sell packs, right? Sun for the past couple of years has had crazy special cards. And a lot of people look to get that card at the end of FIFA. I think they'll give him a tot this year as well. But look at that card. Insane, insane stats. And then Aguero is definitely going to get a team season card for 16 goals in the Prem this year and helping City uh, stay at in the top four and have a solid year. So I think Aguero is going to get himself a pretty good team of the season card as well. But I want to look at the full prediction again right here and show this to you guys. This is the full prediction. Again, shout out to Foot Concepts. Dan, I'll link his Twitter down below in the description and his Instagram. Make sure you go and check him out there. He's the one who helped me create this prediction graphically. So I really, really appreciate his work. He does a great work on FIFA design stuff. But this is the full team, man. This is how it could look on Friday. This is my prediction. Of course, the guys on the right, you know, with the Rashford, with the Schmeichel, the Perea, you know, um, Henderson, Dean Henderson, that is, Grealish, um, Traore, those guys are kind of interchangeable. Could be anybody, right? Could be Maguire, could be Madison. And Diddy is a possible team in this season card that we could be getting. So there's a lot of inter interchangeability, but I think a lot of the guys in the main 11 that I've got, Salah, Mane, De Bruyne, Van Dyke, Son, Aguero, Trent, Bruno, Aubameyang, Robertson, and Mares are pretty much shoe-ins for team of the season this year. And I'm hyped for team of the season, man. I hope you guys are as well. But these guys are going to be so much more expensive than what we're used to, um, than what we've seen for this last week of Community Tot. So that's just a warning. And I've been saying that all this week, but these cards are going to be very, very expensive. We're talking about, you know, last week for... Uh, community Tots, we had maybe three cards that started off in the millions. We had Joe Gomez, Felipe Anderson, and Zaha that were over a million coins first day. Uh, I would expect here that we have at least seven or eight cards over a million coins, if not 10 of them, close to 10 cards over a million coins first day. The pack weight's not going to be similar as it was for Community, but this is the stuff that we have to look forward to at the end of the year. Exciting things, incredibly juiced card stats, and it's going to be really sweaty in this weekend league because everybody's going to want to get some of these Premier League cards. So if you enjoyed the video today and you agree with some of the predictions, of course, if you have some comments to add, drop it down below. Um, your comments on who you think is going to get in, who you think is going to be out. I think some of my stats are wrong. Some of them are right. Whatever. Drop those questions and comments down below. Smash the thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.